Several scientists have been made sexy by supplying novel, tangible applications such as drug development or automation. Geology is not one of them. Yet so remarkable is Yellowstone's feature encounter that anyone who pays attention need not come up with a ruse to rediscover it, it does it itself. The park's 10,000 plus hydrothermal features, the largest concentration anywhere in the world, from geysers to travertine terraces to fumaroles to mud pots to hot springs. Old Faithful's regularity allows you to take it for granted by definition, but it's actually the chaos of Steamboat and Yellowstone's other thermal features that more effectively remind visitors that they are walking atop an active volcano. In September, an eruption from Ear Spring Geyser showered the park with decades-old objects from cement blocks to pencils to pacifiers, don't litter, folks. The curator is currently working on an inventory. Yellowstone is located on the Continental Divide, the highest point in the Rocky Mountains, and has a constant and large supply of water from rain and snow. The magma chamber beneath Yellowstone provides an enormous source of heat, enough magma to fill the Grand Canyon more than 15 times. And most importantly, Yellowstone sees several thousand earthquakes every year. Only two or three of these are possible for humans to feel, but they are what allows the water to seep under the geysers, be heated by magma and then when enough pressure builds up, rush back. Earthquakes commonly break internal pipes, shaking open pipes and thereby keeping the hydrothermal system alive. Without them, geysers like Old Faithful would shut down for good. Yellowstone. One of the things that makes it special is that it's a very dynamic place, constantly changing over a span of time that humans can appreciate, said Hungerford. That's not an indication that anything bad is going on, and I think that's a mistake a lot of people make, thinking that any change is bad. Yellowstone is defined by change. That's how the system works. Yellowstone waits toward chaos, toward uncertainty. Even Old Faithful won't be loyal forever. The interval between eruptions has increased over the last 50 years or so. The reason science isn't any better prepared than trash science for the battle of public perception, even if armed with actual facts, is that most science, for most of the public, still requires a certain level of conviction. We know Mount Rainier will erupt again someday, but for each day until the eruption it will look exactly the same, and that's how it is with almost everything. But in Yellowstone, you can get up and the ground has gone from up to down, says Poland, or down to up. And this is what makes the science here amazing even to people who usually find science boring. You can see it. Geology, in general, we tend to think of it as very static, Poland said. Things haven't changed, except very slowly over time. The Grand Canyon was cut apart over millions and millions of years. It takes time for the river to erode something. Even a volcano, you might say, oh, this particular volcano will never erupt in my lifetime. But Yellowstone is one of those places on Earth where things can and do change. It doesn't have to be as catastrophic as one of these major eruptions. Geysers explode and new geysers form and old geysers go dormant, springs change their activity. That's one of the reasons that I find very interesting, not only for scientists but also for the public. We will never see a Yellowstone super eruption.
But we'll see it change before our eyes, and we'll see its ability to surprise us, to put on a better show than any fanfiction anyone could ever make online. When you visit Yellowstone, you're reminded that the caldera is not just an abstract used to arm fear, but an actual geological feature about 30 by 45 miles in diameter. You can walk around it, or drive, from just past Canyon Village, where there is an exhibit at the visitor's center, down through the top of Yellowstone Lake, to almost the western edge of the park past Old Faithful and almost up into Norris, the hottest and most geyser basin. Dynamic in the park, which contains the steamboat, 